Hello, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to our Data Science for Social Good Data Fest. I see a lot of familiar faces in the audience. Friends, former partners. So raise your hand if you're a current or former partner of DSSG. And if you've worked with DSSG in some capacity over the years, or if you've been to a DataFest event before. All right, lots of hands. And next year, all of you will be raising your hands, right? <laughs> so uh, my name is Elena Eneva, and I run the DSSG program at the University of Chicago. Uh, and this year is the first year I've run it, although it's not the first year um, I've participated in it. So um, a little bit about how it got started and how I got started with it. So in 2013, um, Raid and I and a few others were thinking about how to start a unique program, a unique fellowship that would focus on solving social good kind of problems around the world with data science. So exciting, right? I was so excited that I took a sabbatical from my job um, at Accenture as a data scientist, and I moved to Chicago from the Bay Area um, to be one of the technical mentors for the first time um, we ran this program. Um, and I want to start today by giving you a little throwback to that first year to show you how it all began. This is us in 2013. <laughs> The goal of the Data Science for Social Good Fellowship is really to take data scientists and train them to work on problems to solve problems that actually matter. And what I mean by that is people who have computer science and statistics and economics and policy and analytical skills, giving them an environment where they learn how to not only solve real problems, but focus on problems that have social impact in areas such as education and energy and healthcare and transportation and public safety. So what we wanted to do was build this hybrid person who has all these different skills but also understands how to take real problems, communicate with people about those problems, solve them, and then help figure out a way to transfer and, and, and transition those solutions into the real world to the partner organizations. I saw this advertisement for the fellowship and it said data science and social good and I thought to myself, wow, that's that's exactly what I'm looking for. Something that has all the neat data, technology, those interesting problems, those fun problems, those hard problems, um, but problems in the area of social good, something that is able to improve people's lives. I heard about the program through my advisor. Uh, it really pulled me in since the beginning just because I understand the amount of good that you can do with a little bit of data. The reason that we're doing this program with Argonne and the University of Chicago, and the reason that this is the right place to do this, is that this is one of the few places where we have the right expertise in the system sciences and then the social scientists to bring together and to answer these questions in a way that's much more holistic than just looking at one or the other. My background is in astrophysics, and I found that coming from the hard sciences to this program was a really interesting transition because I was still working with students, but I was doing so in a way that was expected to produce results rather than just papers. I'm working with Nurse Family Partnership. They're a home visitation program. They send nurses into the homes of at-risk women, first-time mothers. My team is working with a new government organization called the Cook County Land Bank. We're creating a new analytical tool to help the organization decide which properties to invest in to have the greatest impact in reversing neighborhood decline. Our project this summer was working with Mesa Public Schools to identify cases of missed educational opportunities and ensure that students go to colleges that best serve their educational potential. My team is working with the CTA. We're working on a problem that affects a lot of people around many cities, which is crowding on buses. There have been a lot of learning lunches, a lot of talks, and a lot of just person-to-person -person opportunities uh, you know, to hit the whiteboard and you know, to be learning different programming tools, uh, you know, different uh, packages within tools. A lot of people, when they came in, they really 
really cared a lot about technical problems. And what you sort of notice is they start talking to our partners, they go out in the field and see how things, these things get implemented, how the data is actually collected. So they went from thinking of a spreadsheet or a database as a data set to um, actual people behind them, actual um, stories. The goal is to provide these women with a source of support and health education. Hopefully this will make Bike Share a more viable part of our public transit system. By inferring a lot of these funding relationships, we let nonprofits spend a lot less time searching for information on the web and actually doing the work that they're trying to do to make the world a better place. Thank you for your time. We started off from such different backgrounds, from such different parts of the world, and we've really come together with this common purpose and, and goal. You'll spend your mornings at City Hall working to understand the problem the city faces, then afternoons coding together as a team trying to solve that problem. Each day is so full and fulfilling, you can't wait for the next one. I can't think of a better way to spend your summer. I wish I could do DSSG for the rest of my life, honestly. It's been a lot of fun. And this is the kind of work I want to do. You know, I'm interested in applying quantitatively grounded analyses and ways of thinking to problems that, you know, really keep me up at night, to problems that I think really matter. So pretty good, right? <laughs> Six years later, we're still here. We've grown, we've improved, we're still working on solving the same kind of problems. Um, and for as a large part of um, the evening today, you'll be hearing from our fellows about the projects that they're working on. Um, but I want to tell you about a few other things that you may not hear about um, otherwise tonight. Um, DSSG, what are our goals? What makes for a good project? Who are our fellows? Why did they choose to come here? And so on. So let's start with DSSG. Um, these are our main goals, right? We want to train the fellows, not just academically, but in general. How do you tackle a problem, a real problem like that? We want to help train our partners as well. Um, and we want to build a community that can go and tackle these problems around the world. So here's sort of the ingredients, the components that we put together so that we can hit all of those goals at once. Um, the challenges that we have are kind of, I, I like to think of them as the rule of thirds. So one third is academic, right? How do we have folks learn? Right, so we have lectures, talks, workshops. Um, part of it is sort of a, you know, consulting kind of problem, right? Um, how do you scope a project? How do you figure out from this is what we want to do to how to actually structure the 12 weeks? Um, and part of it is kind of a general, almost like a startup problem, right? Um, timeline is very short. Everybody wears a lot of hats. Things are a little bit chaotic but then amazing stuff gets done at the end. Um, so one of our, um, a thing that we think about a lot is how to always be open and collaborative and ethical. Um, so having established that, what about the projects? What makes for a good project? And we are very, very particular about the projects we take. Um, and very few of the projects that apply to be a part of DSSG make it through the selection process till the end and um, become our partners. Um, so the first thing we care about is we want it to be uh, the problem that we're solving. We want it to be a real big impactful problem in the world that's worth um, taking over the other problems. Um, it also has to be a priority for the organization that the leadership 
is really supportive and wants to work on that. Um, not surprisingly, uh, since this is data science for social good, we want the data to be there so that we can solve the problems. Um, and not just to be there, but be accessible, partners willing to share with us, and so on. Um, we look for partners who will have the resources to work with us over the summer and before the summer to help us understand the problems, the data, to scope, and to continuously um, collaborate with over the summer and hopefully beyond. Um, and then also the commitment, the very strong commitment that once the summer is done, what we produce is not, not going to sit on a shelf somewhere, right? The commitment to try it, to test it, validate it, run trials, and then implement it. So program, project, the last ingredient, most important ingredient, um, are the fellows. Oh, so, sorry, one more slide before the fellows. Um, for the projects, uh, how do we scope the projects? Because what you saw previously, these are all necessary ingredients, but not sufficient, right? So even when all those are met, uh, we still spend several months before the fellows arrive, before we hand them the project, scoping the projects. So we do that with experts, and we ask some very specific questions, and you can see some of them. What are the exact goals? Uh, what are the interventions that are available to you? Who will do them? Will the people um, who do the interventions, will they want to work with you and your team? What is your project? How would you know if this has been successful? What are the possibilities to continue running it afterwards? Um, and sort of what, what would the analytics around that look like? So now the part about the fellows that are promised. <laughs> um, these are stickies from an exercise that we run every year at the beginning of the program with the fellows. Uh, and we ask them things like, you know, what do you want to learn? Why did you come? What is your background? And so on. So these are some stickies from why they're here, what they want to do. And impact is very, very important. Right? They want to apply their skills. They want to solve a real problem. They want to make the world better. Um, they want to keep working on their skills. <laughs> uh, and develop new skills, but also apply the ones that they have in a different kind of area, right? with, with solving a different kind of problem that they normally get to work on. Um, they want to build a community. They want to understand what's out there in terms of peers, in terms of organizations, and so on. Uh, and of course, they also want to eat pizza and play sports and enjoy Chicago in general. Um, so over the last six summers, we've had more than um, 4,000 applications from all over the world. And the backgrounds of our fellows, you heard about that uh, in the video a little bit, the backgrounds have been um, sort of what you would expect, um, with computer science, machine learning, but also others that are not um, so common, maybe in programs like that. Um, these are the last years by the numbers. So as you can see, we've been changing and growing. And last year, uh, we wanted to, to grow in a different way, and we tried um, starting a DSSG fellowship in a different location. Um, so we jointly ran a fellowship in Portugal with the Nova School there in Lisbon. Um, and this year, for the first time, we are running both at the same time. So we have two locations, one, one in Chicago that you're seeing the presentation for, um, and one in Lisbon. So actually, tomorrow morning at 5 a.m., they have their final presentations, in case you guys are interested in attending that one. Um, by the end of the summer, we're going to have 224 alumni. So we've saved some white space for the current fellows there. Uh, and we would have had more than 60 projects. You saw that slide at the first video a couple of minutes ago, right? It was looking a lot sparser. Um, so these are some of the logos of our um, partners. And also, uh, it makes us very happy that over the last six years, um, we have inspired, helped start, collaborated with events and projects and organizations um, all over the world with um, a similar data science for um, social good uh, theme. 
Uh, so that's enough for me. And uh, next you'll hear from the fellows who'll talk about their projects that they did this summer. Uh, and it makes us very happy that these projects are, um, serve several purposes. One is, of course, to solve a specific problem. The other one is to serve as case studies and blueprints for our partners and for other um, government agencies, NGOs, nonprofits around the world who also want to understand how to use data to increase their impact. And then lastly, to build this, to help train this new generation of people in our fellows who will be the ones working with those organizations on solving these problems. So please help me welcome to the stage our first speaker.